I usually cook for two, even though it's just me. Especially when I make fish. I did that even before the virus. But now it's doubly important because Foxy is not just my pal. He's my confidant. <laughs> and he loves my salmon. Poached. He'll eat his over two, three days. No rush. He's not going anywhere. That's for sure. Are you? No. You stay here. You're a good boy. <laughs> Everyone was telling us to postpone. Stuff is getting scary out there. But the permits were in. Equipment was installed. And we were just waiting for the final inspection. And Lottie kept saying, we can't stop now. We're planning for 130, maybe Amor, deja les digo yo. I love you. March 19, a Thursday, the first day of spring. We thought it would be in good luck for us. It really took us a long time to get to that day. And then, look at what happened. We had maybe 40. I make the schedules. I make the meals. I set the classes, but what they say goes, as it should be. It's all about them. And Lenny lets Lucy have it her way, even though he's older. <laughs> he's good like that. We get going about 8.30. That's when the classes used to start, so I thought I'd keep it that way. You know, a little structure. I'm up at 5.30, so I can get in a little exercise, shower, do some of my own work. I'm prepping two briefs at the moment. And then I get breakfast ready for them. It's usually just cereal, maybe pancakes, but I have been known to make an omelet or two. Plus, I have to get lunch ready for later. My dad used to tell me, Terry, if you take care of the employees, they'll take care of you. No, and that goes back uh, 25, 30 years. I used to sit on the loading dock and see him laughing with the guys. Tommy and oh, Floyd, Mike. Those guys loved each other. They really did. My dad used to put me up on his shoulders and he'd pretend to boss them around. <laughs> I mean, he was the boss. It was his place, but he was never very good at bossing people. He knew it. He was, um, well, he was a gentle giant, but those guys loved him, that's for sure. Yeah, it's nice having a boss who's actually nice. Makes the work go down easier. some people and I'd say, would it kill you to wear a mask? Because if you don't, it could kill someone. Or these guys who say, I don't want to wear a mask. It's my right not to wear one. No one can tell me what to do. Yeah, well, I like to drive 90 miles an hour in the country, but we have these little things called laws. I can't go over the speed limit. How about some laws for masks? Pride. Ah. We had a food truck for nine years. Ten. But it was time, you know. And we had it before trucks were, as I say, hip. And in the beginning, we didn't know what we were doing. We had the truck. We made money. The weather here, it's okay. We wanted a vacations. We went on vacation. 
because we didn't have a lot of responsibilities. Just what we needed, you know. No kids, no house to take care of. It was, it was perfect. I wanted it, even though it was small. Something from my abuelita's memory. She used to sell tamales and champurrado. She made 60 tamales every morning. Sold them in front of the public school off of a shopping cart. Our truck was like a large shopping cart with bigger tires. Remember when I rigged the little bathroom in that old freight liner we had? I got tired of asking favors from stores around the street. So I called my cousin and he helped me put it in. Wasn't bad. But it was time, you know, because we found a great spot kind of near the arts district. Just lunch. Basically the same stuff we made on the truck, but indoors. Exposed brick, very retro. Not much to do. Just a couple of touches here and there. You did a great job, honey. Mm -hmm. I know. Hmm. I guess I'm kind of the math teacher. You know, the history teacher, the art teacher, the principal. Oh, yeah. The gym teacher, the head chef, the bus boy, the housekeeper sometimes. You know, my aunt said, being in so long, she learned a new word the other day. Vacuum. And Stacy works at a clinic, and she's got to go in. She gets up early, too. I'm home about five-ish. I get my break when she gets here. That's when I can go back to work. Lucy, and she's the young one. <laughs> she can stray. Let me tell you, she strays all the time. <laughs> Short lease or she's gone. You have to rethink your idea of having fun. It used to be meeting friends, going to a movie or a play. Not now. I still ride my bike. That's never gonna change. I, I hope. I, I really enjoy the, uh, the YouTubes of the museums. I, uh, I saw one the other day on the Louvre. That place is just too big. I always get tired there. You get to the end of a hall, you think you're done, you turn left, and there's another long hall as far as you can see. It's ridiculous. You can easily spend three days there. I love museums. Before the shutdown, I went to some of the best, the Met in New York, MoMA, the Whitney, the Hirshhorn in DC, very underrated. Oh, and the, um, the new African-American museum there is amazing. The Broad in LA, incredible. Uh, the uh, famous one in Madrid, whose, whose name I forgot. Uh, the Tate in London. <laughs> what I do is I make a meal that relates to the museum on the TV. I made a beef bourguignon. Never made that before takes forever. And I had some Beaujolais wine. Not big into wine, but hey, it was the Louvre. Floyd's daughter started working with me in the office, well, it was right after 9-11, so that's what? Uh, 20? Almost 20 years ago. Wow. Huh. Yeah. 
we would go out every other Friday night. She liked happy hours. Hey, get your act together a little bit early. You can save 30 bucks on the night. Works for me. Understand, for the past few years, it's, yeah, it's been getting tough running a patio design business. There's been a shift to the big box stores. And so I've been letting people go for a little while now, but um, Carol's like a kid sister to me. She met her husband, her ex-husband, on one of those happy hours. They had a little girl. Yeah. That was the hardest day of my life. Having to tell her. Ooh. 20 years she's been with us. Floyd, he had the virus. May he rest in peace. He was here even longer than that. Oh, um. I don't know. I don't know how she's going to make it without a job. Single mom lost her dad. And now, she'll be okay. She's, she'll be okay. We're down to one employee now. Yours truly. Mostly just consulting on Zoom. I don't know how long even that's going to last. Foxy? Hey, Foxy? Where'd you go? I hate the crowds. When I used to travel more, I'd get there as soon as they opened so I could beat the rush. I remember seeing a Matisse exhibit at the Jeux de Palme in Paris. I love that one. Oh, everyone goes to the Louvre. Too many people. Jeux de Palme, great. Prado. That's the one in, in uh, Spain. Oh, and, and there's that one uh, way up in Massachusetts, Ma Mass Mocha. Went there two summers ago. Interesting. Again, a lot of walking. So what I do is when, I, uh, when I'm watching a video, if I want to stop, I just press pause. Well, that happens with the food. I get up for my dessert. I made a crepe with creme fraiche. Press pause. No problem. Or if I want to stare at a painting. Hit the pause button. Take my time. Where am I going? But I miss her hugs. I'm a hugger. I haven't hugged my grandson in months. I worry for him. He wanted it so bad. Now he's gonna think he's a failure. How are we gonna pay for all this? We'll figure it out, I guess. But we're not going anywhere for a long time, that's for sure. We're planning a trip to Tuscany. Not happening. 
restaurants, new restaurants, aren't going to open up for a long time. So we're in the process of getting another truck. We're all sleeping backwards. It sucks. Plain and simple. Canta y no llores, porque cantando se alegran cielito lindo los corazones. We thought all this might help the planet for our kids. You know, back in March, when the flights were stopped and people weren't driving anywhere. And that was the beginning of this thing. Stacy and I thought, well, there might be some good coming out of this. You know, the the air has never been better. Fish are swimming where they haven't been swimming in a long time. Global warming might be on hold. And then we thought, well, maybe we can clean up this homeless mess. Because if we don't, this virus will still be here for all of us. <laughs> yeah we thought there might be a silver lining. But then the airline decided to sell the middle seat. So he owes me the salary. And we can't keep the homeless in these old hotels forever. Hey, we can make money now. Yeah. So we're right back to where we were and we still have this virus. I used to dream when I was a kid. And going to the circuit, eating cotton candy, going touchdowns, even becoming a lawyer. Now it seems all I have are nightmares. I got to stay at it. I got to make sure my kids are going to have dreams. Lucy, Winnie, time for math. <laughs>